Hi and welcome to Gadget Cafe TV. My name is Nick and I'm here today with Raj and today we're going to talk about something we get a lot, asked a lot of questions about here at Gadget uh, which is what type of milk should I use to get the best milk coffee, the best cappuccino, the best latte. So we've lined up eight different types of milk believe it or not <laughs> and they're in two categories. We've got two categories. So we've got animal based milk which are traditional milks that you'll see everywhere and then we've got four plant based milks as well. So starting from your left hand side yep. we've, we've got uh, skimmed milk, semi-skimmed, full fat, and then we've got a goat's milk there as well. So they're your traditional milks, if you like, animal milks, and goat's then we've got... Goat's milk is quite new. I, I don't think we have done a great deal with goat's we've milk. We've not used it yeah, a lot, no. So it'll be but quite it, nice to actually try it. Yeah. I have actually used it quite a long time ago, but... Have you? Yeah. yeah. And then we've got the four plant base, which we've got. Well, we've got soya, yeah. oat, hazelnut, and almond. So again, maybe the soya out of those four is the more popular one, the more... The, the soya is interested. quite good, I think. It has got the same sort of uh, protein levels as yeah. the normal skimmed, semi-skimmed or uh, uh, full fat milk. It's about 3% usually. Uh, so in terms, of, in terms of the sort of heating, they all go to the same heat, obviously you can heat milk to whatever temperature you like, but it's the frothing thing, the air intake that we're, we're looking at maybe here. I think heat can vary. I'm sure it will vary between the uh, different okay. milks. Uh, usually we are trying to get it to about 65 degrees. Yeah. 65 degrees is just the right temperature. It, on a normal animal uh, based milks, yeah. you have got lactose yeah. and that actually sort of starts to come out at about 65 start degrees. caramelizing or burning the lactose. In it, Beyond like, the yeah. 70 degrees it do, burns yeah. it and it, and it becomes taste. very bitter. Yeah, it's not a nice taste. So yeah. we really are careful about that. Mm. Now these well, ones you are... Use a thermometer, you Yes. I don't trust yes. my fingers. So I always, always use a thermometer, but you don't. I have you, actually. You. I've tried, I, I've tried <laughs> both. In. Yeah, I, I'm quite used to <laughs> it. Built in now. thermometer, yes. yeah. Okay. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what these ones do because these are sweetened. They are so, sweetened, yeah. So yeah. you don't have the same sort of uh, you know, tolerances, so you, no. you can actually maybe increase the temperature. So we shall see how it works. I mean, for the, with, before we do the trial, the test, yep. uh, I mean, I, I, from personal experience of using these three milks, we, I always use semi skim milk, and that's mm -hmm. my personal taste, but I find that gives a nice balance between nice froth and a little bit of creaminess without too much sweetness and too much creaminess we get with the full fat. And the, the, the skim milk for me always comes out, it froths quite well, but it collapses very quickly as well. Yeah. So that, that's only my personal, from previous experience of using the different milks. Yeah. And I've not. Really and I think these desires. might have the same sort of issues. Yeah, same sort of thing. A different t types of milk might have. The I think protein level is quite important. Yeah. But uh, we shall see what these are like. I mean, we can have a look at it when we are doing it. Sure, we do. One. Freshness as well. We always, always say about freshness. Freshness quite important. Yeah. Yes. got to be, you know, you want a, a very fresh milk. So you want at least a, a week at least left on your milk. You know, if you get into the, the use-by date, that's really not going to help right. you. With right. your, with Usually you have got eight days. Yeah, about seven or eight days. I yeah. Think. Yeah, and beyond like that, that yeah. point, if you really keep it chilled, you might get, get yeah. away with it. But freshness is very Freshness key, yeah. is important. Okay, so we're going to yeah. set up and we're going to test each type of milk and we'll show you the results. Yeah, I think coffees. to have consistency. Now, we can actually try this machine as well to yeah. make uh, one of these things and uh, of course, we, will, yeah. we will do that yeah. but to have consistency uh, we are going to have the commercial machine We're going to use so commercial that the machine, steam yeah. will yeah. be consistent throughout so yeah. we can actually test each and every one of them. Yeah. Full image. Right? Okay, okay we'll get set up and we'll do that. Okay, so we're going to do our first two lots of milk. We're going to do milk in groups of two, because that's the easy way of doing it. We've made the coffee already. So we're going to, firstly, we are going to make, uh, we're going to use semi-skimmed and skimmed milk. Yeah. We've so. miraculously changed our coffee machine into this. And this is a GD Compact 2 group. Yep. Uh, fantastic piece of kit, one, one from our commercial range, probably our best seller actually, this yes. one. And we do have a link on this, which will pop below. Yes, there is a video on, on how to operate this and such like. So, yep. Yep. Okay, so over to Raj, we're going to start steaming our milk. And so the first lot we're going to do is the skimmed. Skimmed, over to okay. Yep. So that's the red top. Yep. I'm going to put uh, the milk into uh, a small jug. This is a... A 12 ounce jug. It's a 12 ounce yep. jug, yeah. And I'm just doing it as usual to about that lip there, end That's of right. that lip. Yeah, about a third, a bit more than a third, isn't it, really? Yeah, well. I just need to purge first. This is quite a powerful machine, but it is very consistent because it has got a, yeah. a f five litre boiler. So I'm just checking it with my finger. Yeah, that's his thermometer. So, so when I've used skim milk in the past, I've found it to froth quite well. 
and look pretty good, but it does lose. So if you want a cappuccino, I wouldn't go for this one because for me it just loses its uh, frost it's not, straight away. It, it's not bad. It's it's a three percent protein yeah. milk, and it gives you a nice creamy. It does, milk. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, if you want it to froth more, you can put add add more air. I'm yeah. I'm just leaving it at a, a reasonable level for flat whites. So let me just pour that in. It does look quite good, yeah. Obviously, there's a taste difference. Obviously, there's a taste difference because of the yeah. fat content. But that looks pretty good. Like yeah. a not nice one. So that's okay. So that's the, that's the skimmed, and then we're going to get straight on. No pausing. The pressure of a barista. You're going straight onto the okay. semi skim now. Let's get another jug. Same size. Yeah. Same amount. And again, purge slightly. So you would expect, obviously, the taste, as I said, to be slightly different, slightly sweeter with this one, maybe. Slightly more body to it. It's a little bit lit, bit watery. Yeah. The skim milk. And this is that uh, you'll find most coffee shops use uh, semi-skimmed milk, really. The odd one used skimmed. So you can say the commercial machine very, very quick to uh, it froth is. it very so fast. Yeah. All I did was just put that part yeah. of the, the end of the thing just below the surface of the milk. And yeah. that's what you do even on a domestic machine. Yeah, on the classic, uh, you'll do the same. So I'm going to, and that's again quite nicely um, uh, frothed and cream. It is yeah. very creamy. I'm just tapping it to break bubbles and the yeah, looks pouring great. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that looks great, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Quite rich, quite thick uh, I mean, foam on that. The the skimmed milk yeah. is still quite nicely settled there. Yeah. It's not going down, so no. it's reasonably in good good working order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that, right. So Same. it's the taste that matters really yeah, about no. skimmed and semi skimmed milk. Yeah. Um, so you can just um, use any milk that you want. Yeah, that one actually had uh, you know the skimmed. Trust the same. Yeah, it's just about taste, really. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah I say I personally would. Uh, my my personal taste is semi skimmed. Okay, definitely. but the, certainly the look of that is, is pretty good, isn't it? Pretty yeah, good, pretty good. It effect. is. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next two. Good. And we're going to do uh, full fat and goats. Okay. I'll just put this away. Let's cut it in. Okay. Okay, so goats milk and full fat. We're going to do the full fat first. Full fat. I suppose a lot okay. of coffee shops do use the full fat. There's a perfect espresso there poured. Right, again the same amount. In terms of the speed of heating, is that going to be the same thing? It is the same. It's yeah, the same I thing. haven't really found anything no different. No difference to that. Yeah. Okay. Why I mean, will that it, be the same with the I'm, I'm the, uh, not plant -based opening ones. it fully because it's quite a uh, so very, you know, very powerful machine. It is, yeah. I mean, you're doing uh, a very small amount of milk there for yeah. this commercial machine. Obviously, you can do much larger jugs uh, than this. Yeah, you've got to be quick with the commercial machines. It's definitely a skill to use them. Yeah. The technique is the same as we use the, 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 the new classic. Yeah. Just below the, the level, the just yeah. to get a bit of air in, that's and that's it. One of the major. I changes. always, I always make sure that you, I clean the wand before I do anything else, oh, that's and that's quite an important thing. Yes. For you. Yeah. One of the and, one and of the major chains does use full fat milk, don't they? but obviously you can specify, I think, with most of the chains whether you have full fat or skimmed. Or indeed skinny sem, uh, skim milk. Yeah. So that's quite a nice uh, creamy finish as well. Very nice and creamy. Yeah, and I can nice. feel the difference weight now. Of it, yeah. Yeah. The weight of it. It's, it's the really best latte art so far. It is. And you, it's the thickness of it's, it, yeah. It's you you can control it much better. Yeah, can, yeah. I think yeah. semi-skimmed you can as well. Sure. But skimmed is really nice. I mean, it, I feel like drinking it now. You do, yeah. Leave that. <laughs> Let's just have a look at the goats first and then you can, uh, okay. you can sup that one up. I might try the that. goats, actually. Yeah. Goats should be as good. The percentage of protein is sort of the same. Sure. We have got it fairly fresh, so it shouldn't be any different for the two different uh, milks. So let's do that again. It does look very tempting, that uh, full fat one. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm not opening this fully because of the power that it has. Yeah. I mean, you could use a litre or a litre and a half jug with that machine, obviously. So that's the whole point of the power of the machine, is it's designed to froth uh, a large, much larger volumes of the milk than we're using. I have not really used uh, goat's milk on this for a long time, so okay. I'm just going to see with the... And that's good. quite nice and yeah, thick, actually. It, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. probably thicker than the full fat. Is it? Oh, right. <laughs> okay. What is it? Is it a 
freshly pra fresh pasteurized. Yeah, 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 it's fresh. Yeah, yeah. Can oh, you it see? It looks very similar. Yeah, nice. Huh? Yeah, lovely. Looks really nice. Yeah, I'll drink that one then if you want the other one. <laughs> but, uh, right, you can yeah, taste the goat's milk. Yep, yeah, I'll go with that one. And I'll taste the full fat. Well, you're getting, getting the hang of this last <laughs> aren't you? I, yes, it, it, under pressure it's quite difficult to do, I think. If you can sort of have a bit I've got of a honest, I wouldn't know the difference between that and traditional maybe full fat milk there. Mm. Not nice Shall I try taste. that as well? You can do, yeah. yeah. That's my side, so that would be your side. Yeah. Okay. You, want <laughs> you can taste the difference. slight difference, actually. It's yeah. sweeter, that one, isn't it? That's a bit, I think yeah, it's You can taste the yeah. goat's uh, yeah. milk but taste. The texture it. of it looks fantastic. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah. In terms of cost, I mean, we bought this from a you know, standard supermarket. About twice the price, I think, is the goat's right. to the door meal. So obviously yeah. there's cost implication if you're getting through a lot of it. Yeah. But uh, certainly the, the, the end result is very, very good. Is that, very good. You can get the taste of the goat's milk. I yeah, think. yeah, there is yeah, a taste. Yeah, no, no yeah. difference there. Yeah. So that's the interest. That's the uh, the animal milks. So now we get onto the, the more interesting ones. I'm waiting for some, to the results of these. We're getting onto the plant-based milks. So first, should we do soya and uh, oat? Should we do first? Okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll get that Let's done. Do okay. that. Clean down, and we'll do that then. Okay, so we're on to the next lot of milks now. So we're now on to plant-based milks. And the first two that we've got is soya and oats, is it? Yes. Soya and oats. So soya I have used, and it is very good for frothing milk. It yeah. has got 3% protein. Yeah. This actually has only 0.3%, so it's about a tenth of the protein. So what are you expecting, you to not froth? Or normally, or not? you would find that it is difficult to froth a, okay. a, a you know, protein at that level, it will be very difficult. But we shall see. The thing is, Alpro is one brand of course. and it, it is a straightforward, you know, you, you, we, we have got it from a, a supermarket sure. off the shelf. Indeed. They have got professional versions as well they have, for yeah. those bars where yeah, you yeah. have to sort of have a frothy You're expecting milk. the soya to be okay, so Let's get on and steam let's, some milk. And let's see what we can do, do with this first, one. Oh, okay. first, yeah. Oat first, okay. And certainly, from uh, customer feedback, is that a lot, of, a fair few people use soya milk. Yeah, fair I'm few. going to use the same amount of milk. Yep. And uh, see what it does. Okay. Okay. And I'm just putting it just below the surface as yep. I normally okay. do. In terms of the colour, it look, looks about right, is it? It's slightly different in colour. Slightly darker, different, yeah. It, yeah. Looks like skim to me, the way it's frothing. It's got a little bit. It's quite hard. It, yeah. it has got bubbles. Yeah, but they are bubbles. Uh, aren't they? But they are bubbles rather than the yeah. creaminess. Yeah. So I, I mean, I suppose when you pour it, it yeah. seems fine. Looks alright. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it looks okay. And I suppose at the end so of the day, it also depends what's, I mean, obviously on the taste, cost maybe, but yeah. also what sort of coffee you're drinking. Because if you want a cappuccino, yeah. then you're not going to want some of these that don't froth. But if you, you know, you're wanting just a latte, i.e. a very, very milky coffee, then there's nothing wrong with these, is there? You've got a bit of texture there. Yeah, it is. But not, it is more like the semi-skim, uh, skimmed milk. Scoop, yeah, it looks yeah, like it the is way it's lighter. pouring, yeah. Quite uh, a thin, fast pour, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So let's okay. do the other one. Let's go on to the soya milk, see what that's like. Okay. Right. Soya milk also has a slightly different colour to the normal milk. Slightly darker, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are quite a few different brands of, uh, of plant-based yeah. milk yeah, available, are, yeah, aren't yeah, there? Yeah. So, th same amount of milk yeah. and same way of frothing. Yeah. I can hear the yeah, thing sounds much better. better. Yeah, sounds better yeah. Gotta be quick, come here. <laughs> It, it sounds much different, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So the timing might be slightly different for different milks as well. The oats I mean, seemed to be a little bit longer. I don't know whether you were trying a bit harder to get a bit more air yes, in it, but it certainly was, seemed a little I bit was longer. That, a little that seemed bit very there. fast, though, isn't it? Yeah. With the, uh, I was struggling a little bit there. Pouring also was a bit difficult as well. Yeah. But for the person who wants a different milk, exactly, you yeah. know, there is nothing wrong with that. And I say, if you want them just one, a latte. It yeah. comes through nice and well, creamy yeah, very as cre well. Very creamy, yeah. Very creamy, yeah. Very frothy and very creamy yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. It'd be rude not to taste it, wouldn't it? So that's, <laughs> so that's your soya. Yeah. 
And this is probably slightly sweetened as well, isn't it? Oat. Soft and natural yeah, taste. taste, taste. That. I mean, that's and the other one is a subtle sweet taste. So that yeah. should have a sweetness. It's a bit sweeter, yeah. Well, I've certainly been served worse coffees than that in very cafes and restaurants. So, um, yeah, it's not that's bad. Not at bad at no. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Oh, that's okay. It's a bit. It's not. Yep. It's not as light as the. I quite it's not like quite as watery as full skim milk. Yeah. So I, I'm. I'm. Nice. Uh, liking that soy milk. Yeah, the actually. soy milk's very nice. Yeah. It's yeah, nice. nice. It has got a bit of flavour as well. It has got some. I don't know what they have put no. in there, but it. But again, in terms of the costing, it's probably about twice the price of uh, yes. standard milk. I mean, you yeah. shop around, obviously, and there are other other brands as you say available, so you might be getting bums. But it's a, a slightly more expensive. Yeah. But again, you know, if you're only making uh, a couple of cups of coffee a day, then that's not too bad a cost really yeah. on that uh, yeah, nice so as taste. I said before there are other things available course, yeah. from yeah. you know for professional ones yeah, but yeah, these yeah. are off the shelf so it's easy but to I get them the try those yeah. the frothability of that looks pretty good I'm, I'm certainly quite as good as semi skim milk not I'm quite, impressed, maybe, yeah. not quite I'm as impressed. good as uh, yeah. full fat but uh, yeah pr pretty good and I was expecting for it to a point three percent yeah, yeah, protein yeah. it's yeah. not bad at all yeah so we've got okay. two more two more to try so we're just going to uh, sort those out and let's have a look at the last two okay so the last two we've got uh almond hey, yep and hazelnut 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 says smooth and creamy taste and yeah. almond says pure roasted taste no sugars and the protein content of these two uh right let's see uh protein 0.4 okay. so it's slightly more, more than the oat, than the oat. Um, this one it's protein is 0.4 again. <laughs> okay, so yep. same. 0.4 again. I, I, I'm going to guess that one of those is going to be quite dark and chocolate. So, shall I try the almond first? Do that, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The colour is slightly different. Yeah. Looks a little lighter, which I suppose is the protein there. Takes a bit longer. Yeah. Or is it? Oh, all right, okay. There's no residue of milk on the steamer. No. Yeah. So usually you get immediately a, a yeah, yeah. sort of a fat yeah, yeah. that wraps around it. That's nice and creamy actually it, to yeah. start off with. So it's very thick and creamy. I'm very impressed. I don't know how it sort of st looks good. It is separating, I think. Is it? Yeah. So I'm finding it difficult to pour yeah. right through because milk yeah. is separating. Separating from yeah. the froth, yeah. Okay. So it looks a decent texture though. Texture is okay. It might not stay there for too yeah, long. Yeah. Drop, let's yeah. see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so hazelnut next. The hazelnut. Last of, the, last of the eight milks. Hazelnut. I don't expect this to do very well, but well, let's have a look. <laughs> it is a di very different in colour as well. It's yeah, a still. lot... Uh, Chocolate milk. Chocolatey. <laughs> yeah. Chocolatey. A little more. So some of the thinner milks look like they take a little bit longer to get to temperature. I think so. I can a feel hard, the yeah. slight difference between temperatures. And as you say, they tend to be, the lower protein milks tend to be separating a little bit, so any froth that you do achieve is dropping out quite quickly. Yeah. That doesn't look too bad though. That looks like a hot yeah. chocolate or a Horlicks, that one to me. <laughs> Horlicks. Horlicks, there's an old that's blast, from the, blast past, from the past. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. I used to like well, Horlicks actually. Mm -hmm. Apparently, yeah. We're not uh, representing Horlicks, we just do gadget, so. <laughs> Oval teen and Horlicks. That's it. That yeah. <laughs> right, coffee. So this is actually a lot darker in color. Yeah. It is going down fairly quickly, I think. So let's see wh what it does. I mean, it comes through nice and creamy now. Yeah. In fact, it was better than that one when I poured was it. Was it? Better yeah. than nice not, yeah. But you can see that there are lots of bubbles. Big bubbles, yeah. 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 So there we go. So yep. we need to taste these, don't we? So let's yep. taste the yep. hazelnut first. Okay. Is hazelnut? Yeah. That's uh, almond. Almond. This is hazelnut. Uh, yes, that's almond. That's definitely almond. Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting taste. Mm. That's me this being one too is an interesting taste. Yeah, yeah. 
It's uh, sweet. Uh, it's sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that you can taste the nuts, and no question about mm. the nuts. I would stick to my. <laughs> so if I needed, if, well, I think if we need a non, personally, trying that the soya was perfectly okay. So it was good. wasn't bad, but the soya would be. Much I quite worse, like so. the full fat. I must say, I normally have <laughs> semi skim. Go for full the, yeah. fat is like a luxury, isn't it? It is a luxury. It really. I think is if creamy. you were served that, you'd be very, very happy yeah. with that. But the soya was pretty good. Performed pretty well. It's and I say very the, good. The, the lower protein levels uh, yeah. milks obviously do tend to take a little bit, and you can see them here. They're dropping out quite yeah. a lot there, really. So it's it will be quite good to actually get some uh, comments on what yeah, we have if, done. If, I mean, there will be Mr. a milk, yeah. I don't know where we've missed the milk. I sort of put a oh sweep yeah, on there the, is, uh, there's, there's plenty of other options. There are plenty there. of milks yeah. available. And coconut is one, and rice is another. Yeah, I thought about the coconut. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't know how rice else. would perform. I mean, no. uh, I find it difficult. I have tried it a long, long time ago. Yeah. And it wasn't frothing at all. Was it not? No. But let's have a look. At, there might be improvements yeah, there. Yeah. They might yeah, have added certain with things. The coconut, very watery so as let's well, try so. and do that. But they, I, I found a lot of information on on the web okay. about uh, plant-based milks and yeah. normal uh, milk, and you know how, yeah. uh, what sort of things you are looking for. Sure. Uh, we have got some barista training videos, but we, we don't have. go deep into. No, uh, we milk. tend to stick with. So there are quite a lot of uh, yeah. uh, links to. I, I'm going to put those things on uh, on the YouTube. Uh, so okay. we can actually sort of, uh, you can watch those or you can read uh, information sure. on the different types of Certainly milk. we'd be interested in if you've got any comments about yeah. milk and if there's anyone, say we've missed a, a couple out there obviously, but if there's any ones that you particularly think are, are good or if we've been uh, uh, dissing uh, your favourite milk there, let us know why and wh what we should be doing differently. But we s it is personal taste at the end of the day and if you're happy with that taste. The nut ones for me were almost a different drink, yes. really. <laughs> yes. Almost like yeah. a completely different drink. Yeah. Well, the others at least they let the coffee come through, don't they? But it gives a choice, doesn't it, it to, does, the, yeah. to anyone who yeah, wants to try so. different milks. Yeah. I think it's it, it will froth somehow, whether it will stay froth, you know, as uh, as creamy as it is right through yeah. is another matter. It does depend on what you're looking but, for, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, well you can always visit us at gadgetdirect.com. Yeah, and I say any comments leave below and we'll leave some links on various uh, milk and our, also our uh, frothing guide on milk as well that we do with, yes. with the machines. Yes. Right, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.